Hello, YouTube viewers, and welcome back to Therapeutic Tuesdays. Today, I wanted to go over a few movements or exercises that you can do to increase your wrist flexibility. And the reason you'd want to do this is if you are newer to working out on a regular basis, if you are attending more yoga classes this new year, which I would highly recommend. It is a great movement activity that you can do to help your body, but also help calm your mind. There's a certain aspect of meditation that can come with yoga if you so choose um, those type of classes. And most classes do include meditation, including the ones that I teach. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into some wrist mobility exercises. To start with, you'll be on all fours, knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders. And if you've never done this before, I'd recommend just staying in this position and kind of lunging forward a little bit. Seeing how this feels, you want your fingers to be spread wide. Don't cup them, right? You want them spread wide and the hand flat. Pressing the entire hand, the fingers, the knuckles of the fingers, the palm, the whole hand down into the floor, right? So you can see this kind of, I'm shortening where I'm creating more of a wrist bend. So I'm leaning forward, breathing into my nose, and then breathing out, either through the nose or out the mouth. Not really a big deal. Just make sure you're breathing in through your nose. And as you do this, you want to imagine like you're breathing air into those that the muscles being stretched in the forearm here, also in the base of your wrist. And I would recommend breathing 10 to 15 times. 10 is usually sufficient for me when I'm doing this and for my clients when I'm working with them. But if you'd like, you can do up to 15 if it feels better for you. Here's a much more intense stretch. So you flip your hands the other way around so you get the idea of how that looks. Right? I try to straighten my elbows as much as I can. Now, you can sit further back towards your heels, which is going to, of course, increase the stretch. Right? So you can either lean forward to lessen your stretch or to make it more intense, you can do it this way. All right, the next would be to flip them over so that your palms are facing up. I'll do this kind of in an angle so you can see both me sinking my hips down, keeping my elbows as straight as I can. So with this one, the elbows may not be straight. You may kind of do like a gorilla style, bent elbows to the sides here, flaring out, and then make your way towards straightening them. Just remember to try to keep the shoulder away from your ear. Don't shrug up. Right? Don't take tension out of your wrist and put it into your shoulders. Right? Active back like we do with all of our activities, keeping the core engaged and the shoulder blades squeeze back and down so that you don't have a rounded back, your shoulders aren't into your ears. You know, good, good posture, good practice. Again, same thing applies. You can spread your fingers out wide to increase that stretch. Breathing up uh, 10 or 15 times. All right. And the next one, bringing the hands together, either here or flipping them here. And I like to alternate. So I'll do palms facing down for 10 breaths, and then I will flip them so palm faces up for 10 breaths. Palms facing down for 10 breaths. Actually, I like this one better. I feel like I get more out of this one because I can go from side to side, really press into one side, widen my base here, and I'm pressing into the other side. And then you can do it the other way around. All right, that pretty much covers all of the wrist mobility. I mean, honestly, you're spending about two minutes on all of those things I just told you put together. 10 breaths, you do that, what about? four or five different wrist moves. And then the last one is 
Bring your arms out in front of you, right? My elbow is staying straight, and I'm just going to draw big circles with my wrists. Now, while learning these methods, I was taught that, you know, if you're, you want to do this for the amount of age you are. So, you know, if you're in your 20s, do 20-something. If you're in your 30s, do 30-something, 40s, and so on and so on. I found that doing it for 20 times, one, two, three, making big circles, not little neat, neat, no, you're not dancing with your fingers. You're moving your entire wrist around and around, really getting these muscles warmed up and loosened up, get the blood flowing into them. So 20 one way and then do 20 the other, and I think that's sufficient. If you're still feeling a little stiff, then do 10, 20 more, one way, then the other, <laughs> and you should be good, all right? And you're not gonna. I mean, you're not gonna be have gymnast flexibility after the first time. So keep working with it, and eventually you'll be able to go through your different moves, right? Doing different pressing motions, working on hand balancing. So if you want to come into different hand balance moves, you can do that as well. Okay, I hope this was helpful. If you'd like to add anything else, have any questions, something that you'd like to see me mention in a video post, leave a comment down below. You can also message me on any of the social media platforms that I have linked also down below in my description. Until next time, Keep going and keep growing. Peace.